Hey guys, so welcome back. We're here again at the farmhouse. And today I'd like to put together a really beautiful dish um, you know, using simple ingredients, fig, goat's cheese, spinach with a beautiful oat crumble. I think you guys are gonna love it. It's really easy to make, so let's get started. Okay, great. So the first thing I need to get onto, I need to preheat my oven to 160 degrees. I have a pre-lined tray with parchment paper and now I'll get onto my oat crumble. Now, my oat crumble consists of winter white flour, which has come from Turong Farm. I have a little bit of chia seeds, almond and oats that have already been pre-blended. We have some maple syrup, oil, and I like to use a little bit of coconut oil too, because it really gives it that nuttiness. So let's get started. So I'll start to mix all this together. And we'll start to incorporate our wet ingredients. And we just put it all in together at once. Now that might look like a lot of syrup, but trust me, it works. And the coconut oil. Now using my hands, I'll slowly start to bring it together. And what we're looking for is a crumble consistency. Now it's fun, get in there, give it a really good mix. So once it's come together, I'm just gonna spread out onto my tray and push it to the sides. And I'm gonna bake this for around about 20 minutes until golden brown. Okay, so I've just pulled my crumble out of the oven. It's beautiful golden brown, smells delicious. I'll set that aside to cool and I'll start to get onto my figs. So I'll be using two. I'll cut the top off, put a little cut in the top. And I like to open the figs up with my hands. That gives it that more sort of rustic look. I'll add it to my bowl. We get a little bit of this beautiful organic spinach. Now I'm gonna dress it. So this is vincotto from last year that we've made from our figs. I'm gonna just add a tiny little drizzle of that. And again, this is a little bit sweet, so you don't wanna to add too much. A little bit of olive oil. And I'm just gonna finish off with this little bit of goat's cheese, okay? So really creamy, really, really sort of good flavor. Now I'll just gently start to mix this with my hands to make sure that all the leaves and the figs get that beautiful dressing. Okay, so now I've finished dressing the salad. It's time to plate out my dish. So I'll grab a little bit of the oat crumble and I'll just put it in the middle of the plate. I'll start to spread it out a little bit. We'll get a little bit of the fig jam. Now this is really beautiful product. We've made it here at Polpero. It has a little bit of Earl Grey tea and raspberry vinegar. And the raspberry vinegar just sort of cuts through um, the sweetness of the jam. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a dollop around the plate. Now don't be shy, I think use quite a bit because it's very tasty. We'll start to put a little bit of the, the spinach. Again, just quite randomly. I'll add a tiny bit of goat's cheese. And now just arranging these beautiful organic figs from the farm. This smells really, really good. That vincotto has really brought out the sweetness in this dish. Okay, and last but not least, this delicious crumble. And again, this is the real textural element of the dish, so you've got to make sure that there is enough on there. And there you have it. Okay guys, so there you have it. My beautiful fig, spinach, oat crumble, and ghost cheese salad. Now the thing I like about this dish is that you can either have it by itself or you can enjoy it as a side dish. Now the thing that I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna match it with the Pinot Gris. I love the fact that it cuts through the richness of the goat's cheese and also the sweetness of the fig. So enjoy.